If you have an older keyboard or piano like this Casio here that doesn't have USB, but it does have these five pin MIDI in and out, how do you connect it to your Mac, your PC, or even your iPad? Well, you do it with the use of one of these. It's a USB to MIDI cable. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if like me, you're a fan of older keyboards and you've got a keyboard like this lying around, don't throw it away, don't replace it. All you need is a USB to MIDI adapter and in the case of an iPad or an iPhone, you need this one, the Lightning to USB adapter cable. With these two little bits of gear, you can bring your older keyboard back to life. Now there's links down in the description to where you can pick up both of these, both the MIDI to USB and the lightning to USB connection because you will need both for your iPad or your iPhone. So let's now dive in and take a look at how we can get this connected up. Now this is the device that we're going to be using to connect. This is the Edirol UM1X. It's actually no longer made anymore, but the good news is that Roland, who actually made Edirol devices, now make the UM1, which does the exact same thing. So what this has is a USB connection on one end, and it has two of these five pin DIN connections on the other end for your MIDI in and your MIDI out. The other important thing we have here is on the top, we have this switch, which will turn it into advanced driver mode on or off. Now, because we're connecting to an iPad today, we need that to be off because we can't install the drivers for this on our iPad. If you're using a PC, then you could actually install those drivers and use the advanced driver mode. It doesn't do a whole lot more, but it's a better option if you're using your PC. So we've got that off. Let's get this connected to our keyboard and to our iPad now. Now it's important to get your MIDI in and your MIDI out into the right ports. And thankfully, this actually tells you it's got little directional arrows and it also says which one to connect to MIDI in and which to connect to MIDI out. So all we need to do now is plug these in and plug this one into the MIDI in. And then this one here goes into our MIDI output. So this is now able to send data through this cable through the MIDI in and MIDI out ports via the USB at the end. And we can plug this now into our Mac PC or as we're going to do here into our iPad or our iPhone. Now, because our iPad doesn't have a USB connection, it has a lightning connection, we now need to use this, which is our lightning to USB adapter. And I've covered these in detail in other videos, but these are a very handy piece of kit to have. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone and you do a lot of audio work, you will want to get one of these cables. Again, there's links down in the description. This is just the single port one. You can also get one that has a lightning port, which is the lightning to USB 3 adapter, which is even more convenient because you can charge up your iPad or your iPhone while you're actually using it. So let's now connect this lightning end into our iPad. So that's now plugged in at both ends. And what you can see back on our adapter here is that we have the light that's come on here, which indicates USB. Now it's not got these two lights on there, our MIDI in and MIDI out lights. They will actually light up when we actually play and when there's data being sent from our keyboard into our device. Now for many keyboards, this is literally it. You'll now be able to see this device in your Mac or PC, and as we're about to show on the iPad, we'll be able to start using this to input MIDI into our performance here in GarageBand. But if you don't see this USB light come on, it is probably because your keyboard needs to be set into MIDI mode. Now, every keyboard is different, and unfortunately I can't give you details about how to do that, but go to your manufacturer's website, Casio, Yamaha, whoever make your keyboard, find your keyboard model, and there should be some pretty simple instructions for how to put your keyboard into MIDI mode. My iPad is connected again, and you can see here the USB light has come on here on this device, so we are ready to go. Now, I've left the volume up on the keyboard to start with because I've got my piano open here on GarageBand. If you want to learn how to use piano and other instruments in GarageBand, check the video that's linked up there. But assuming you know how to open GarageBand and set up the piano instrument, then all we need to do now is start playing. But if I play now... You'll be hearing that in double because you're hearing the piano sound here coming through the speakers into my microphone and you're hearing this coming through my mixer which is coming directly from the iPad. If I turn the volume down now, you're hearing just the sound of the iPad. So if you were using this, you'd just plug your headphones directly into your iPad or use speakers. If you're using a Mac PC, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you can hear back the sound because it's not recording any of the actual external sound you hear. So you can keep your volume up if you want to, but I like to actually hear the sound I'm using on the iPad. So we'll pop that, pop that down there. And now if I actually play, Thank you. 
it's actually playing using the instrument, the virtual instrument here. And as I play here, you can see there the MIDI light is coming on, telling me that I'm sending MIDI data from this keyboard into this iPad. So that is pretty cool. That is a really quick and easy way to get ourselves connected up here. So any MIDI device, any keyboard that has five pin DIN in and out connectors, these old school ones, grab yourself this cable, links in the description, connect it up to your iPad and you'll be able to play this. And it doesn't end there. Let's just quickly show you before we finish some of the other cool things we can do that with our iPad here using GarageBand and this device. Yes, we can use our MIDI keyboard to play drums. So if we select the drum instrument in GarageBand or whatever platform you're using, a virtual drum instrument, then we can suddenly... We can suddenly turn our MIDI keyboard into our own drum pad so we can use the keys to play our drum sounds as well. How about we add some epic string sounds to our track? No problem. So anything you can think of, you can pretty much got you covered here. So if you hook up to your Mac, your PC, your iPad, your iPhone, any virtual instrument that you can throw at this, anything that accepts a MIDI signal, drum kits, keyboards, synthesizers, it can play them. And that's the cool versatility you have just connecting your MIDI here into your USB or in this case, USB to lightning. And one final thing before we go, if you are a pianist and you're playing something like an 88 key keyboard here and you're playing piano, you may want to invest in one of these, a sustainable pedal because this will help you. It plugs in via the quarter inch jack onto most keyboards here and then if we hit the notes here, if we hold down the sustain, then it's just like a real sustain pedal on a real piano. So it's a very cool addition to your MIDI keyboard. If you're actually playing with two hands, and you're playing full piano parts, a sustain pedal, it can be a really cool investment. And there you go, a quick and easy way to breathe some life back into your older keyboards. And don't forget, we've got links to both the MIDI to USB and Lightning to USB cables down in the description. Thanks again for watching. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below as well. And I'll see you on the next video.